true. And here we go! So, this is the Couch Bowl, but this is still the Final Fantasy Randomizer Spring Tournament, so this is still Earth Flags. Um, experience is made a little bit faster, just because this is a fun match. Um, but other than that, like, everything's the same. Level 1 nuke. Alright, that's that's good to see. <laughs> Wish I had that. Although Falconic's party doesn't get to make use of it that much with just a single black mage for now. So, the parties are interesting. Um, let's talk about a thing that happened. Can I talk about a thing that happened? I'm pretty sure I can talk about a thing that happened. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's find out. Um... If you don't know what I'm talking about, absolutely. Uh, so, um, they did a kind of... Um, they did their own take on the draft. Rather than both team... But rather than each person pick, like... Um, Alright, we're all taking a fighter, we're all taking a black belt, etc. What they did was they rolled a d20 to see who would go first. Falconic won that roll. And then they each picked a class that only they could take. So the first pick was Falconic. He took the Black Mage. The second pick was Mo. She took the White Mage. The third pick was Falconic. He took a Black Belt. Then Mo took the Red Mage. Falconic took the Thief. And Mo took the Fighter. So now Falconic can only make a party comprised of Black Mages, Black Belts, and Thieves. Whereas Mo can only make a party comprised of fighters, red mages, and white mages. They can take any combination of that, um, but those are the classes they're limited to. And, and now out of the gate. And Falconic has level 1 nuke, but no nuke caster now. So we're going to see how Garland goes. Yeah, uh, Falconic uh, actually being the nice husband. If he took Black Mage first and Mo opted to take White Mage, he could have uh, not been the nicest person to take Red Mage. Let Mo go ahead and take the Red Mage. Now, hang on. I just... Hold up. Did I see what I thought I saw? I do uh, believe... A hammer in the crown? No, 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 no. I do believe that Thief cast Nuke. Because uh, I'm 99% sure that what we've got going on here is, uh... Shenanigans of some description? Falconic switched the Black Mage and the Thief Sprite. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Clever girl. Yeah, alright. Sure. Fine. It's cool. That's... that's This is gonna wreck my brain. Oh, what, the promoted Black Mage uh, sprite for the Black Belt doesn't already mess with you? No, no it doesn't. I had also not noticed that. I'm, We're learning a lot today. Especially considering it looks like the Black Mage may have thrown it in the white load by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Fire 3, that's good. Nothing else in the Black Magic. Falconic doesn't care about White Magic. We'll see it on Moe's side. Dang, Heal 2's not the worst thing in the world. It's fine for Volcano, because, like, if you run into Volcano with, like, eight heal two charges, rather than taking, like, a couple minutes just fire hosing heal potions, you can cast heal two, like, three, four times um, going into the Agama floor and three, four times at Carrie's door, and you've saved a lot of time, and it's basically the same effect. Was he looking off the pirates? Mo's just a second behind. All right, not nah, got two turn-ins. That's still good. Yeah, got the canal. We got a lot, bunch of access, viable crystal for more money than we have. They have a heal staff that they can sell. Oh yeah, check that in the wood chipper. Yeah, I'm surprised. I, mean, I would have done that when I was on the, the uh, right side of Provoke. I there wasn't. I ain't got time to cast heal one. There wasn't a burning need to until literally right now, so I can understand just kind of keeping it around because because it takes actions to go vendor it. Um, but now it's time to vendor it so we can get a crystal on our way out. See, and this uh, kind of exact scenario, 
either that or potentially some good armor writing in Provoca. I really like checking Matoya on the way to Provoca. Three chests, chance at some money. If they didn't find the canal, chance at a canal there. Uh, question in chat, is it worth that much? Potentially. Um, the caster items can they, they can swing pretty wild um, in how much they're potentially worth. We also um, with level 1 nuke, we've got that Thor hammer on the table. Um, it's an option that prevents us grinding to get the crystal right now. Um, but it looks like neither player has gone for that option. Alright. Alright, fast and quake. Eh. Fast is I mean, good. Obviously fast. Yeah. Uh, Armor shop. Reasonably priced gold brace, so it's not terrible. It's yeah, it's doable <laughs> later than now. About fifty grand will get you the three year I guess you might need more than three. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Slurb. Here you go, not here's good. here's your useless brick. Have fun. I saw Zap and Quad X level 4, so magic, I mean, they got, they got the level 1 nuke, they got fast. Mm -hmm. I didn't see Mo check away magic. Uh, might not have had the money. With that with that looming crystal in the distance, um, I think both of them are going to try and buy as little as possible right now. Yeah, run up, check in with the, 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 the kindly old king. Well, I guess Mo's doing that. Falconic is opting not to go see the kindly old king. He's he's a jerk. I don't know. I, th I think Falconic knows this. Sums up with the kindly old king. I think Despite he. Spidey would... senses tingling. Ooh. They and it tingled... was a huge mistake not to do that. <laughs> they tingled in the wrong direction. <laughs> we do not have open progression on, so that is not uh, Mo in the air just yet. She still needs the canoe. Yeah, but now I'm I, now I'm really looking at that crystal. What if that crystal's canoe? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'd be throwing anything I can in the wood chipper. That wizard staff, for example, that um, Falconic just picked up. Between that and the Thor hammer and the heel staff, I would be shocked if we can't afford a crystal like right now. Yeah, like wizard staff's nice for carry if you absolutely need it, but if you got two new casters, th that's much more effective than a wizard staff. Mm -hmm. Falconic taking two. Uh, thief mages um, and Moe's two red mages, um, so they're even on newt casters. Uh, although Falconic will have an extra one after um, class promotion, but that's a long way off. Alright, and we're... What are we doing? Oh, stopping off for a quick save. Yep. Uh, we, we haven't seen that much um either land enemies on the way to Matoria or sea enemies in general. So I I like the safety save. It's usually cheaper than 30 bucks, which is cheaper than any regular save item. Get our charges back. It's it's efficient safety. It does feel bad to be here, Matoya, knowing you're going to... Or on Heal Helmet. They def... Okay. Yeah. yeah. They have... Between those three items, even if they all rolled low, if you throw them all at the vendor... Mm -hmm. They'll have it. They just need to think about doing that. Mm -hmm. But Mo headed out to sea. Uh, I think Mo's gambling on canoe at Crescent. I can't say I'd agree with that, but you know, it, it, it very well might pay off. <laughs> Because you also have to remember, right now, we still have, if we get a ruby, that's two key items with Treasure Trove on and having access to Sarda. <laughs> Mo, I, ooh. Hey, remember that time I said that we didn't know if sea creatures had deadly things? Well, there's Sahags and Zap and Thunder. Zap and Thunder. <laughs> the right Safe hook won't get you the left will. Safety saving. It's a thing. They were lulled into the false sense of security. And Mo, I think, is about to be very sad. Yep. That, that's yeah. why she was sailing out mm -hmm. here. <laughs> Worth noting that with open progression, we don't... Uh, so the difference... One of the things that a lot of people have trouble with is the difference between open progression and extended open progression. Now, what open progression gives is we connect the rivers between um, Ice Cave and Volcano. We connect land between Canaria and the Dwarf Cave and we add docks to uh, Mirage Tower and Onrak. 
What extended open progression does is add a land path from Dwarf to Elfland and add the boat dock to the Ryukon Desert. I believe there is talks of splitting things up to make it have a little more sense. So, um, on Alpha right now, and possibly even Beta, they have, um, they have open progression split into Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere, so you can opt to have um, the two Northern docks without the connected rivers or the walkable paths, or those without the Northern docks. Cause yeah, because cause one was implemented, but like, hey, that's really cool, let's do it some more, and oh, that crystal and, was the key. Oh, uh, so, uh, let's review. We have uh, one player who has the canoe, and we have one player who has the floater. And it seems like both are committed to not getting the other. Yeah, we'll, we'll see which way Draconic sails now. He knows he's got one piece of the puzzle, he needs the second. And that crown has to be burning, burning in his pocket. Mm -hmm. And he is going to and very stubbornly mm -hmm. insist on not turning it in. I love the idea of pressing the advantage. This is the scenario where it goes wrong. See, if if you were having to turn in something further away, like if maybe, well, I guess Ruby's two items, but if let's say Ruby was one item, I could see saying, eh, it's too far, it's walking, I'm going to go the other way. But this is so close, I... Mm -hmm. uh, level 4 White Magic had Cure 4, Exit, and Heal 3, uh, cure 4 totally locked, heal 3 promotion locked. Uh, level level four. Ooh. Fade for red mages, and uh, wall for the white mage. So yeah, so that puts Mo at a very distinct offensive advantage, with white magic, of all things. Uh, question in chat, what if open progression was dynamic and the rando computes it depending on where it puts the items at the time of genera uh, generating the seed? We technically have that, um, in that it, rather than computing based on where the items are, um, we just make it tri-state and just let the dice fall where they may. I will, I will keep pushing for a tri-state heavy tournament. I love the idea of Nobody knowing what's going on. Com doesn't know. Runners don't know. Nobody knows. Mm -hmm. uh, Falconic has picked up uh, Ruby uh, from the old men at Crescent Lake. And is he boating? Nope, we're going to turn in that Ruby, because that Ruby is two items. One of them could even be the floater. It's not, but it could be. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Now that he has the canoe, mm -hmm. hear me out. Mm -hmm. It's a much easier go to turn in that crown because you don't have to go to Elfland and walk all the way up. You just hit a river that's literally right next to the to the castle, kill Astos, and then go Ruby. Mm -hmm. But again, he's uh, proving me wrong. Well, let's see if this is a safety save or if we're actually going to go bother with that crown real quick. Oh, just just a little bit of shopping. It was a little short when he came in Alpha, and I guess he uh, sure was still saving up for the crystal. Uh, Mo turning in the slab. Um, one of the only reasons to visit Melmond, because that chart for uh, whether or not a red mage can learn level five magic, it's real sad. The chart in my head is I click it and it goes. Nah. <laughs> Uh, looks like Falconic picked up silver bracelets for everyone but the black mage question mark. Uh, the, the the sprite black mage or the actual black mage? Who is on first? <laughs> yeah, but silver bracelets great for through the mid game. Heck, even if you absolutely need to. I mean, mm -hmm. it's better than nothing. But mm -hmm. based on what I'm seeing. Um, based on armor pickups, and I think based on what I thought I saw in the weapon screen earlier, I do believe that that black belt is a thief and that black mage is a black belt. You know what? You're absolutely right. I didn't think of it. The black belt was swinging a knife at Garland. Yeah, see, there we go. We fi we we decoded the mystery. Have we? No. So Mo's doing some shopping, and I think she, she, 
She's oh. worming her way closer. She's getting just a little bit closer to go back to Provoka. <laughs> S- um, send your good juju to Mo. Yep, yep, oh. Hey, yeah. what? Huh? Well, we're checking Matoya. That's on the way. Womp womp. Oh yeah, Falconic had a, a run in with the uh, the Sahags, I see, and actually was able to get away from it. Yeah, the sea is pretty lethal right now. Um, the first of our two runners to uh, to put the jigsaw puzzle together, I think, is really going to uh, take off. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. <laughs> and Fizzle was never seen on Randomania again. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize. You expect good commentary. Best they could do was us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mo, pick it up. That heel helmet. More, more money if if she just gets over there. She's been doing a lot of trekking. She's been over to near Crescent Lake, all the way back to the inner sea. <laughs> Level five, uh, ice three, lock two. <laughs> lock two with uh, with this percentage, you can get. Uh, either at or real close to evasion cap. Yeah. So um, keep an eyeball on those lock spells. I don't know if I have seen over the course of practices or live races. I don't know if I've seen a fully evasion capped uh, theme too, but I know they've been like close enough that you can barely tell the difference. Yeah, my uh, I had a kraken on my race that was close or close enough that I had to have several lock casts to start getting any amount of actual consistent damage, so mm-hmm. they can get up there. Alright, I think we can all agree Mo is, 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 is there. She's there. Yep. So we'll get... Mo will... Uh, have to make the second trip out to the Ryakin Desert, hopefully with less cursing this time. <laughs> I mean, there will be a much better prize. The magnificent flying hot dog. Instead of the whammy she got the first time? Yeah! Oh, speaking of whammies, uh, Falconic picks up the adamant in Titan's Tunnel. This is This is just going to be a continuing fetch chain, I think, leading him further and further astray. I don't know, uh, because again, Adamant, Dwarf Cave, right there, I mean, it's right there, the castle's right there, there's even <laughs> a bridge, it's a bridge! <laughs> so, we'll see what that turns into, we still got a bunch of KMs we need, and we have one, uh, one whammy item out with the Thor hammer. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey. there you go! Alright. Okay, this isn't so bad now. If you, any time you can just like do all of Dwarf Cave at once, like especially if either of those two turn into the key, like this might be okay. Now it's, it's going to boil down to does he d- does he route Northwest in? Right. Otherwise, he's probably going to end up saying, "All right, it's going to be time to do volcano and then ice, and then from there you have the option of going to the northern hemisphere and doing ordeals and doing." Waterfall, and then you're an hour in with no airship, and you're a sad panda. Mm-hmm. Better known as my Earth practice seed the other day. <laughs> I went so many places before I just went went to Earth Cave like I should have. Just followed the incentives like I should have. Um, the good news is that I got you know I got my three man party to like twenty seven, twenty eight. The bad news is that I got to chaos like 40 minutes after everyone else. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... I, I really do think that Earth, the Earth incentive is so interesting, especially it's available so early, but it does have the rod block. Do you gamble and go do it? Do you not? It, oh. it makes for such an interesting thought. Hooray! Falconic going with the triple hit on Hooray. All right, so we know that Triton's Trove is required. Yep, we got our heavy metal guitar. And... It's a shame there's no bard class, and we have a loot. And we got a bunk. We converted we converted that dynamite into a magic glove. I'm I lost the metaphor on that one, but we got the heavy metal guitar, so we're one for two. 
I think we got ripped off with the TNT for a glove. Mm -hmm. It's probably just, you know, like a standard issue work glove with the word power written on it. <laughs> you, just, you just keep looking at it and you just get madder and madder. <laughs> How Connick or <laughs> continues to orphan the crown. And he is following the incentive for Earth. He's playing... He's playing like a person who knows he's behind and needs to make the wild gambles to catch up. Yeah, and it's like, again, I mean, you have you have the firepower. He's, oh, that's 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 good to see. That's a tile. I'm okay. Flash is actually I mean, a little sucks a little bit of time, but no damage. Gershark's did okay. Yeah, these look pretty. Yeah, I would gladly take first skill, um, Flash and Stare. Though they seem to have eaten their Wheaties, but that's that's okay. Yeah. As, as long as they're skill happy, this is fine. Yeah. Three nukes and they're out. And 10,000 experience? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, th I think they may have overtuned the experience just a wee bit, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, I inspected it before I rolled it for them. It didn't seem that much higher, but... In hindsight, it might be a bit higher, but that's also the power of one of that's one of the top ten uh, highest experience grind tiles. All right, and Mo about the. To... Oh, oh no, Mo, no. Mo, come on, there you go. We got there. <laughs> one for two, one for one for three. Moist Mogwai first in the air at the twenty-one minute thirty second mark. That's real fast. And she is going to be able. This is going to be for her perfect routing. She's going to be able to pick up the ruby, mm -hmm. hit the ruby stuff, mm -hmm. go, oh, dwarf, okay. Dwarf, lots of dwarf stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, katana and a pro ring, not, not too bad, but certainly not with Falconic. He's, he's hoping something's loose in Earth. Mm -hmm. Hoping that incentive Earth is something, but we shall see. So, And then the other thing with this incentive in Earth is, if it's, let's say it's uh, Oxyale, that opens up a whole new can of worms for Falcon to keep squirming around where he doesn't need to be squirming around. So white magic was largely garbage. Uh, I don't remember seeing anything that was helpful. Um, the bad news in level 6 black magic is that Lightning 3 and Brack were there, neither of which are learnable by Red Mage after promotion. I mean, level 1 nuke answers most of your pressing questions. It... It'll answer everything through the mid-game, but if we're going to do any... Uh... Oh, uh... Caleb correcting us in chat. Level 6 had Red Wizard Learnable Life too. Well, alright then. Never mind, there's a thing. Um, but in terms of offense, like, level 1 nuke solves all problems through the beginning and mid-game until we hit dungeons of unusual size. Because um, we're going to run out of charges just nuking everything top to bottom. Um... Any of the threes will help. The fade will also help, but I feel like we need one more AoE beyond that to call it just like cruise control for the rest of the game. Well, it depends on if uh, if either of these guys decides to sit on this 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 shark tile. Mm -hmm. Like I, I I get wanting to rack up some key items to get the bonus, but the earlier you get these levels in, the easier it makes the rest of the game. It pays for itself in spades. And with the offense, especially that Mo has having fades and nukes, I would I would sit there for at least a little bit. <laughs> oh, being corrected in chat once again. Uh, Ice three was at level four. Uh, I'm glad one of us is paying attention. I don't even have chat up. I'm looking at Discord. So. <laughs> oh, I uh, our, our one our wonderful tracker Danny three eight eight three has been keeping track of magic and. Uh, she states that um, Ice 3 is level 5, and I believe it was Red Learnable? Um, so, between the Ice 3 and the Nuke and the Fade, I think we're good to go on magic. Uh, we found Fast. Um, I do not believe we've seen Temper, though, which is a little unfortunate. Well, we, we, they're both, well, Falconic has the bonk. Moist Mogway is about 60 seconds away from the bonk. Mm -hmm. um, so that so that'll cover that for the most part. Um, no warp, no exit. That's kind of sad. 
Uh, no Invisible 2 yet. That's kind of sad. So let's see what the big prize halfway through Earth Cave is. I think with the magic, at this point we're hoping for Rod in Earth Cave. Um, hooray! So if we get that Rod, I think we can make a solid push to the bottom of Earth Cave and run over Lich. Yeah, I saw Falconic running from that high experience tile, so I think that he's definitely trying to conserve some charges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will murder you. Mo, Mo, Mo receives the power gauntlet, stares in disbelief. Um, so let's exit and head elsewhere. We got that. Uh, we got that slab turn, and we can do now. Uh, sorry, wait. Okay, wait. Wait. Learnable exit. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, Mo, Mo, so Mo would be in a place right now to make the uh, the, the 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 Earth gamble, but mm -hmm. airborne. We'll see where she goes. Cardio check, perfectly reasonable right now. We still got two loose to find, and frankly, probably some gear along with it. Yeah, gear, money, because we got we had the 17k gold bracelets. We haven't found pro rings yet. I guess they have to live in uh in Gaia. Uh, I Gaia think. Now, yeah. yeah. Ooh, picked up the defense sword. Um. It's a relatively free chest. I would expect Falconic to get that as well. I mean, if he wants to use him as ninja, sure. He has the katana, though. But mm -hmm. So, yeah. Falconic is set for endgame, assuming he's going to ride the ninja. With Defense with fast and bonk, I, I would feel perfectly comfortable going in Ooh. with uh, Out of all the... Setup. Out of all the things we wanted to see, the cube was not one of them. Yep, doesn't open anything, so that means this this entire walk was was not worth it. Unhelpful. Bats yeah. taunting him. He, he 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 did hit that tile a couple times. Like I said, and you look at his hit point levels. He's he's got some some good experience on him. Mm -hmm. So if nothing else, he'll be able to kind of. Be a little on a little bit of cruise control for these earlier dungeons now. Mm -hmm. And we'll see because Mo's in the neck of the woods, so we got. Let's see here. Ordeal looks like she's eyeballing ordeals. That's what it's looking like. All right. Yep. I like it. I can dig it. You don't have warp. Ice is so ice is going to be questionable. And we don't necessarily, you don't necessarily need warp for ordeals. And if our levels are not great, which our levels are okay but could be better, um, this is probably going to fix a lot of that problem. Yep, uh, Medusas aren't too bad for the middle mid games on bulls. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Basically anything except argoyles and mancats, and we're good to go. Ordeals can't. I mean, Ordeals kind of suffers the same thing as some other dungeons, though. There's quite a few things that can show Argoyles. Yeah, the Man Cats and Medusas can all show up in big packs mm -hmm. and can be kind of scary. We don't have any ribbons yet. Not, not really any usable gear at all, really. And Valconic taking my suggestion, it looks like at least going to blow the charges he's got. It's going to be interesting to see how long. Whether this is a party-wide grind, or if we're going to start to see some uh, some thief mages dropping. Maybe even... Uh, nah. It looks like he was just 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 dumping uh, charges, I think. Oh, that could be he's it. Already, he's already 22. I mean, for the percentages we're at, you already right. have bonk, you know, you have fast. I don't know that you, need, you know, you don't need to be going to 35 or anything crazy. Mm -hmm. But still, we're going to have to take that belt mage to 32 at some point. Or he could just, you know, closely inspect the floor for the rest of the game. <laughs> we're already almost to the point where he's naturally online. I, I feel like we should just carry it the distance. Um, or maybe just get the whole party there. Maybe that's the plan at this point. So far, nothing to speak of out of these first couple chests in Ordeals. 
Silver armor for what they have, you know. Silver helmet. So here, I have silver everything. Mm -hmm. uh, so Falconic is sailing south. Probably going to make a trip to hit Ordeals and Waterfall and see what he can scare up down there. He knows the king is, is, is up to something. <laughs> knows in his bones. Hey, we got a vanilla tail. You're already in the neck of the woods? That's fantastic. Hey, Contact we ran... Alright. This is... yeah. This is worth taking. Nukes, Nukes fire threes, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, you had fire three at a level three, so yeah, you got... Oh, oh never mind. Never mind. No, 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 no. Abort. Retreat. Desist. Cancel. Alright. We did it! <laughs> Flawless oh. victory. <laughs> that red meat. <laughs> Looking a little swole compared to the rest of the party now. A little bit. Wow. Seven levels above the rest of the party. It's fine. Uh, Falconic getting the bad news up front and resetting out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> At least the Zumbles have the courtesy on Moe's side to wait until the trap tile. <laughs> So where is Mo headed next? Because we've got two obvious destinations we can hit. We can hit Waterfall. We can hit Lafayne. Um, where are we headed after that? Do we I mean, finally we have do we finally ice? bite the bullet and do Earth or Ice? I mean, I would say Ice and Volcano mm -hmm. are are your next. There's there's Oodles of Chests and Volcano. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any reason to go to Earth once you're airborne. Like if 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 you're sure. if, she, if, if 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 you're still floundering around looking for something, I get it. But mm -hmm. you're airborne. Stay as far away as you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, logic makes sense to me. Ooh, Falconic gets some trolls mixed in with Zombles. That's that that's he's probably happy for that. <laughs> <laughs> and most most single rabbits go. No, I will promote first. <laughs> you can just 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 keep sleeping. Probably gonna take a stop at the discount party member. No, we're not. We're gonna pay premium price for our party members. Oh, uh, we're gonna get other magic. That's what we're doing. We're being efficient. Yep. Okay, I figured it out. Yeah. All right. So now, okay. Now that we made the the southern hemisphere play, ice and volcano, I think is is pretty mm -hmm. as efficient as you can be here. We've got a uh, hashtag couch bowl high five in the town of Elflin. Uh, Mo picking up spells for her promoted party, and Falconic picking up gold bracelets. Gold bracelets, good all around. Especially for uh, Valkyrie's party, that's pretty much the armor he will forever be using. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was oodles of good stuff here for mm -hmm. uh, for Mo to pick up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Falconic's just been just been a bit of a swing and a miss with the cube and a swing and a miss with the tail. Yeah. See, did, did he enter through the southern Elfland dock, or is he on, in the, uh, the uh, inner sea? Southern dock. Yeah. Um, there's really no reason, I don't think, to travel back to the inner sea at this point for Falconic. Um, everything that he would want to get access to is either river dock or that southern Elfland dock. So, uh, yeah, it looks like he's kind of waffling about Yeah, that's, that's what, if, if I was in his position... It's probably Volcano and Ice are next up on, on your mm -hmm. list. As much as you don't want to do that, that's what mm -hmm. you're going to do. He's got the levels to steamroll it, but just fighting through the river system. Mm -hmm. 
Mo able and to pick up a gold bracelet as well. Kind of looking to see what she can what she can flog here. Yeah, we got everything must go because we got to get these red mages armored. And let's see how committed Falcon is because I know he is more committed than I am because I leave these squiggle chests. I hate the squiggle chests. Yeah, too loose on the table. You got to do it. Hate it. Hate it. I know it's it never feels good, but you gotta. My strategy usually has been do the rest of the volcano. If I happen to find a loose, and then I feel a little more comfortable mm -hmm. orphaning those two, and you get put back out at the beginning anyway. Mm -hmm. I like... So, I do admit that sometimes you can, you know, pick certain chests to skip because it just takes so much time to get to, and the chance of something being actually in them is like 1 in 200. But... You it's can't... Admire. If you do that too much, you hand yourself a defeat. Because if you gamble on, like... You know, if it gets to the point where you're gambling on, like, 40 chests not having something, well, now suddenly, instead of being 1 in 200, it's now, like, 1 in 20. And oh, I know yeah. what you're thinking. That math doesn't make any sense at all. Well, there Loose you go. bottle and volcano. But... Uh... It's not about the math making sense. It's about the math feeling right or wrong. That's how math usually works, yes. Yeah. You just think about it, and the numbers just will themselves into being. I'm, I'm sure your algebra teacher loved you. Like, no, I really felt that the answer was yeah. 7. Fun fact, that's how base 8 got started. Because for the <laughs> longest time, people were just counting in base 10, and then someone came along and said, Nah, I feel like there's only 8 digits. It's fine. <laughs> There's only eight digits to prove me wrong. Yeah. And, uh, man, I, I, again, you, you kind of swing and a miss again for Falconic, finding a loose. <laughs> and it's something you can't play with yet. Opal bracelet off of fine. Womp, womp. I mean, I guess... It's better than a kick in the teeth, but... Yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of lacking in places to go on Mo's side. Uh, Volcano Ice, Waterfall. We don't have Chime yet. We don't have Oxyale yet. We're kind of limited on what we can just weird gamble dive. Um, I mean, there's always Volcano and Ice, like, sure. But I think after Falconic gets through those, if he doesn't open up something else real quick... We're gonna have to accept that going back to Crown was the thing we should have done. Marsh. 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 Oh. Marsh. Marsh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what's next to Marsh? The kindly old king's castle. <laughs> it was also next to dwarves, and we see how that played out. That's yeah, true. Mo. Mo. No, no, Mo, Mo. Falconic binds a ribbon as Mo receives the uh, the psychic projection you have sent through the universe. You sent it to the <laughs> wrong person. No, oh, that was a, that was a six, not an eight. Damn it! <laughs> Can we get, hashtag gotta gamble on I me? Mean, it. Mo still is working under the assumption, as of now, she still has two loose. Right. We know one of them is in Volcano Armory. Um, we haven't found the other one, have we? No. Nope. No, yeah. So, this... With, uh, with, 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 fire, with Volcano and Ice on the table. Ooh, and, 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 mm. and Toxic Scorpions, okay. Blah. Yes, please. Thank you, Cremate. Yeah, I'll gladly say Cremate over Toxic when I'm in mid teams. Yeah, I, uh, I, after seeing that, I, I, I would 
probably orphan the bottom for now. Nope. Now, if if we're committing to Marsh, let's just do Marsh. Scorpions are one encounter, and they're not that common down here. Um, and we got a lot of chests to open. I'm I'm fine with this. I, I was about to say fuck Hardcore, and I found some more juicy experience. But when they have mute, not so much. Oh, yep. Nope. Pass. Uh, ordinarily, well, that, that he, is okay. He's done because he didn't have an option because they're unrunnable. Oh, that makes sense. Ordinarily, I'm one of the, what, two people that think that grinding five to nine bad men is a good idea, but uh, not when they can shut down your magic. <laughs> All right, and with the uh, levels of magic that Falconic has, I think Terry is a you know, on par with a speed bump of that Lich is. Oh hey, what else has Creamate? Crawls do. Neat. And Falconic landing the hold. Going for some, uh, so some cheeky stat, uh, strats instead of, uh, just lots of nuke. I think that was Carrie that landed the hold. Because I think he's been, yeah, he's been throwing confuses. Ah. It's a battle of status effect magic. But the belt mage oh. gets there. Alright, first or we'll call it 41 and a half. And, oh. Ooh. Hello, 2 to 3 blue detail. They hit hard. Let's see if they rolled up or rolled down. It's starting to look like rolled up. It's starting to really look like rolled up. Eh, that's close to base, I think. There we go. That's the, that's the levels you want to be seeing, but not the thing you wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> you have multiple dragons guarding a single heal potion. <laughs> Ti times are tough. Like... It, it's a communal horde. Alright, so let's get our first look at ice. I always love ice if you have the tools. There's, I believe it's five different grind tiles here, although if Akana doesn't need it, but mm -hmm. if you're looking for a grind tile, ice is a good place to check. Mm -hmm. Now, with the uh, first floor earth for the... Um... Gershark Big Eye Tile. That was, like, number six on the list. That is fine. It's good enough. Yeah, I wouldn't be going out of my way, but... You got this tile here. Which I think anyone that's played this game long enough has gone to get to this chest and hit one of those circles. Mm -hmm. And had, had some choice words for the sprint function. Oh, I oh I thought I thought you meant like in the vanilla version. No, I I did that in the vanilla version when when we didn't <laughs> even have speed fixes, and I still managed to fall in those holes. It, <laughs> I was not good at video games as a child. <laughs> All right, nothing so far. And I so we have wait we have Thorhammer, we have Opal out of the pool. Mm -hmm. So this should be some a, a progression of some description. Should be. Uh-oh. Ooh, I missed it. What what took down the belt uh, mage? Rub. Eesh. More experience that he doesn't really need. Oh, and he's gonna have to take a step again over that tile. Oh, and unrunnable. Excellent. Uh, question in chat: um, Is Maza incentivized? No. These are the Earth Week flags. All they did was turn the encounters down a bit and turn the experience up a bit. That's basically the only difference. And, and Mo is just making the big brain plays. <laughs> uh, Mo gets Oxyale. Uh, fantastic. We can do C while we're here. Uh, 
And at this point, again, uh, Mo had not seen the any of the loose. Mermaids is looking pretty good. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'd agree with that. We're we're here. We've got the firepower to do it. Let's just full clear sea and see if we see what we can scare up. Maybe a rod to make uh, Earth Cave look less bad. Yeah, with the nukes and fades, C is an end game. You know, I consider it an end game dungeon. There's plenty of encounters that you can rack up some experience on. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Falconic finding ice armor. Gonna take it so that the uh, thief belt can have some decent armor after class change. All right, key, not bad. Sure, we can keep hunting for loose. Seems good. Oh, that might that might draw him the castle. That might that do might what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. That and the fact that he's run out of places to go except Marsh. Taking Earn... bets now. Oh Marsh. no no, he still has waterfall to hit. Yep, you did, yep. It, mm. it feels bad having gone all, all the way to Ordeals, coming back up here to go back. Uh, ho hopefully he's getting the, 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 the vibe that that key is telling him. Yeah. Go something do key loose. checks. Go do key checks. Right, I'm not sure that's, that's an 8, not a 6. I'm going to try to send some vibes again, but... Uh, please do await uh, Mo's imminent sprinting for key checks as... Uh, she takes on the unrunnable uh, Arsahag Wizahag pack. Uh, we got Nuke. Everything's fine. Which I believe in Alpha we were able to uncouple that and might be runnable now. Yes, um, I know. I know it's in Alpha. I think it's in Beta now. Uh, fun fact for those playing the home game: in the randomizer, when you shuffle what encounters are runnable or not. Generally, up until this point, what it's done is it's taken both the A and B sides, and both of those are runnable, or both of those are not runnable, Loose Chime and Elfland Armory. That's our second loose item. So, what they've managed to do um, in Alpha or Beta is that those are no longer coupled, because, like, the the Wiz Sahag R Sahag pack is the B side of the pirate fight, and the pirates are a boss, so you can never make those runnable. Um, similarly, um, the 1-2 to two Iron Gall is the B-side of the Garland fight. Garland can never be runnable, so those always have to be unrunnable. But uh, we figured out a way to shuffle things around, so it's not that. Or you can just be a maniac and check, check the everything unrunnable flag. If you just don't like yourself and the people you play with. Hey, I've done some of those seeds. They're fun-ish. It definitely adds the resource management element of the game that Vanilla inspired. Uh huh. Or that uh, that the randomizer kind of lacks. Like half of Vanilla Topher is unrunnable anyway. Why not just make make it everything and make it all unrunnable? <laughs> I can think of several reasons, but we'll we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. Iconic checked. Elfland. Castle. That was our second loose. He... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Falconic! So, hold on, hold on. Falconic is in no mode. He's about to be in go mode. Is he? He has chime. He has cube. He's about to get oxyale. Oh my god. No, missing Rod. Oh, Rod. Okay, never mind. Yep, Rod. Yep, we gotta get to... I assume that's Bottle Turn-In. Um, yeah, it's gotta be a bottle at this point. Yeah. Aw. Oh, oh, well. We could have hoped. I was kind of hoping for his sake. At this point, you've done this much of the game without the airship. Well, you know, at this point, I almost want to not get it out of spite. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Left side of the first floor of C, Dasimaza. Yeah, we're 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 getting to the point. I think you know another ribbon. Because Falconic has a ribbon. I don't think Mo's found one yet. 
Mm-hmm. You know, at least one ribbon. You like to have two, but mm-hmm. gear wise, we're we're getting there. Mm-hmm. You know, ice armor, flame shield. That combo isn't. You know, th- that'll do. Especially with uh, I think they got a bunch of gear fours, heal threes. You can make it happen in Topher with Ice Armor and a uh, Flame Shield. Alright, so yeah, with, with Falconic having the Oxyale, C is the obvious play for him. He is going to be able to skip Mermaid, and I'm curious to see if he hits that Massa Chest now. That's true. He's the one that's found both loose items so far, so it would be... It would actually be probably sane to just go mode everything in C, except a few greed chests, and I don't think that left side chest is one of them. Although it could be, because he will be going left and not right. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah that, that, that chest in particular is like, it's, it's a coin flip. <laughs> Because he also already has a ribbon, so I mean, again, do you want two or even all three? Sure. Generally speaking, if you remember to move it, you're good with one. Black Belt Thief, Double Black Mage. How many ribbons do you want for that? The, that is true. The Black Belt... I... For safety, the Black Belt should have one, but I can understand the argument of just grinding it to, like, 40-whatever and calling it good. Um, and then you just stick that on the Thief. Um, because... Or no, you... The Thief might be able to survive a nuke, and might have some buff spells. Or you stick it on the Black Mage to make sure you have access to Fast Temper, etc. Um, I could honestly see either of those. I mean, fast was level three, so keeping the ninja upright will give you the fasts. They have more defense, more HP. I would, I would probably keep it on the ninja. Also, let you get out of fights between encounters. It's so weird because this party is so not my speed. I'm really having to think about how I would theory craft this out. <laughs> We call it the anti-fizzle party. Uh, not quite, but, like, it's close. Uh, question in chat. Uh, qu- chat, wow. All right, hang on. Let's rewind. Standards, question- we, we have high standards here at Rando Mania 4. Uh, Sir Hypez of Nova asks, uh, Oh, wait, the Black Mage is the Black Belt? Yes, uh, introducing Falconic's party. In the top slot, we have the Thief Belt. And in the second slot, we have the Belt Mage. And rounding up the bottom, we have two thief mages. Crystal it, clear. Perfect. It's all it's all perfectly sensible. I cannot on, wait to on, see what they're. On. Um, come on, come on, add a boy. Oh, oh. E. And then Falconic gets real, real mad. I have to say, Falconic's routing is confusing the absolute hell out of me. <laughs> Like you, you, you get Oxy Ale out of, out of, uh, waterfall. You do see. Still looking, still checking chests. Even though he has both loose. I'm kind of, oh, white shirt. Between that and defense, which ha- wait did Falconic pick up defense? Did he pick a- I don't remember seeing it. Either way, it's good. It's extra good if he did not grab that defense. <laughs> then we'll see if Falcon can make up a good amount of a uh, good amount of ground here. True, he's not going to have to. He doesn't necessarily have to do the Cardia checks, although he's going to miss out on some things that are there. Um, there was something that was real, real nice in Cardia. 
Um, it was a ribbit. No, was that defense? That was defense. Falconic's probably not going to get defense. I don't know. I, if 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 you took the time to check the the three chests in northwest. Again, coin flip. I'm not sure. Sure. Literally anything could happen at this point. Everything I called in Falconic for what Falconic would do, I go, it, it has not panned out, so... Oh, hey, Red Learnable I'm... Warp. Red Learn... Top slot Gaia. That's learnable by Red Mage after promotion. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking it's... I mean, I guess he still has ordeals to do, so I guess it still has some, some mileage. I mean, um... got... Cracking one. Ready, steady, new. Yep. All power. Kraken inks helplessly. And there's All the right. rod. I guess that's go mode. Yeah, that's gotta be go mode for um for Falconic. He is gonna turn in. Curious, but you know what? Open bracelet isn't bad. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess Kraken wasn't that big of a deal. It's, 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 it's gone. It's a wonder what multiple nukes and fates will do. <laughs> we got nuke, we got fate, we got fair three, we got ice three. <laughs> So, Mo first orb lit at around the 55 minute mark, but it was the Kraken orb, which is an annoying one. But now we gotta figure out what we're doing about loose items. Yeah, the uh, the key locked Elfland Castle one, I think, is is one that can very easily trip someone up. <laughs> Here in Crescent Lake, there, there's no reason not to hit Volcano. That'll be the chime. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yeah, it was chime and Elfland armory. So, <laughs> Mar so Sky, 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 Sky is off the table. Uh, we just did C, so our options are Volcano or... No, we don't have the bottle either, because that was in Volcano. So our options are Volcano and Ice. Volcano, okay, no, yeah, she, she has no options but... Yeah. Alright, and there he's picking up the defense. I wonder what Falconic is looking for. I have to assume it's more ribbons. Yeah, I, I, I can see wanting to stick rib, you know, more ribbons on, you know, squishy black mages. Mm -hmm. And we're making the ice play, so we know that this is going to be required. Got the key. I don't think... Did she pick up warp? No, um, I don't believe her red mages would be high enough level to cast it. And no reason to go to Gaia without the bottle. And with a known vendor item location. It's fine. We can just do it the long way and then exit. Fine, use your stupid logic against <laughs> Uh, oh no. Oh, wait, oh, hang on. Okay, wait, there we go. Sunsword. So did things become better or worse? So, um... So the Thief Belt is now uh, Cecil the Thief Knight. Which is arguably canon for Final Fantasy IV? No, he didn't steal, he just delivered a package. Okay, so we have Cecil... No, he, he stole the crystal from Asidia. Ah, we got there. References. So we got <laughs> so we got Cecil the Thief Knight. We have uh, the Belt Wizard. And I missed what the... Uh, I missed what the thieves were, but it's worth pointing out that we have a Lally Ho Dwarf. Okay, so the, um, the Thief Mages are now Ninja Mages. Yeah, duh. Worth noting that Lally Hodorbs are infinitely inferior 
to the majesty of the Hooray Dwarf. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Second class citizen dwarf. <laughs> oh, we got cope. All right, so let's see. I've been calling it wrong all day. Well, fuck, I'm gonna go. No, okay. Well, he's gonna miss Maza. Mm -hmm. Well, he has a katana, and he has bare fists. Yeah. Uh, that, that belt mage okay. will be very helpful. Let's see, I'm looking at so just there's a bunch of levels on Moe's screen, 24 to 26. That's that's about where, you know, if, if I'm trying to you know, find the sweet spot. That's where I like to be at chaos. So Moe's level's looking good. Yep. Fox level's even better. Right. Falconic's well on his way to getting um, the belt mage to its full potential. Um, he has a little bit of a way to go, but um, I have to say that Falconic is in the lead, but not by terror... Well, if he stopped opening chests, no, he's still opening chests. He's desperate for another ribbon, so I think we're pretty close we'll at this point. We'll see if it's just chests on route, or it looks, yeah, okay, so okay. he didn't go south. All right. It's just stuff on the way. Okay. I'd put Falconic uh, ahead, but not by significantly much. Like, if, like a Topher wipe will put this back in even territory. I mean, yeah, though, yeah, because Mo, I don't believe has a ribbon yet, and that's kind of the big thing that even if she does pick up these two loose here real soon, you're still going to be digging. Right. You you need one. Mm -hmm. You feel real bad not having one. Yeah. Oh, ooh, well, worms had blaze out. The kind of kind of worms weird. with blaze. What is this? I don't know. Ooh, nope. Uh, Falconic looping back. Gonna check more? Nope, we're just gonna grab those two chests out of Sharknado floor and we're gonna press on to Kraken 1. Alright, I, I have to have some wires crossed because I keep thinking, I keep going, alright, no. He's done checking chests. No, he is checking chests. No, he's not. Ah! I suspect that what you just said is what is running through Falconic's head on loop right now. Because it's it's one of those things that's just like, I've opened so many boxes, and I only have, I think, one ribbon. If I open, like, some more boxes, I will get... I have to get at least one ribbon, right? Right? Well, it wasn't in any of these. Oh, but what about that one? Oh, it's not any of these. Oh, but what about this one? Like, it's indecision. It's the indecision power hour. Alright, so let's... Let's see, I, 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 Kraken had ink first skill, so that's pretty nice. Just a bunch of nukes. Yeah. No no playing around. Ooh. Big hit to the belt mage, but we've powered up the belt cannon, and it doesn't matter because Cecil the thief mage gets there. A couple of them hitting 32, and Falconic lights the water ore about 1 hour, 3 minutes, and 25 seconds. You know, it, it'll be kind of curious to see on Mo's side how she does things. In my head, I would do Volcano first. But if she happens to check those keys first, gets the one loose, then does Volcano, picks up the chime early, that'll kind of facilitate her blowing through chests should she say, all right, screw it, we're just going. Right. Because, like, we... No matter what, I think we still have a full clear of Volcano ahead of us, and that's time, but with that key, I feel like we've got to check the key lock chest first, because everyone hates Earth, because it's garbage. Oh, you were so close! <laughs> that we're checking key lock chests at all tells me that we're going to go through all of them, so we'll at least get the chime. We might deviate hard into Sky 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 Sky. 
All right, so we're picking up her white shirt, actually equipable. Great, it's same defense as the gold bracelet, but also has insert resistances that I don't know. Come, come, come on, Jesus, you're just backing me up here, come on. <laughs> All right, yeah, Falconic, I think, uh, has, has finally decided, all right, C didn't pan out, we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Not checking anything along the way. There's uh, there's something in this dungeon, I don't remember what it is. Uh, Mo committing to an Austin Powers on the hallway, headed down towards uh, the key locked orc chests. That's what I'm choosing to call it anyway. Not look yeah, it was a bust. <laughs> hey look, this Lich won. Ooh, it survived four hundred and thirteen wow. Oh. Six sixty, alright, somewhere between six sixty and eight hundred health on that Lich one. Large. So that's kinda, <laughs> that's more like one of the uh Dukes of Hazard ramp bumps, not a standard issue speed bump. Yeah, but like, you know, he's got the general Lee and he just cleared that. Okay, over under. What do you think, Keylock Marsh? Oh, oh, oh boy. Um, I'd like to think that Mo doesn't go back because Mo has already done the rest of Marsh. Mm. But but it's it's got to be a niggle. It's, it's there. You know that. Mm. I I haven't found. Either of them yet. <laughs> um, yeah, good. It's our, it's all right, Mo. We can just go to Elfland. It's fine. And uh, Chimera's, we're seeing on Falconics. Uh, Chimera's having Blaze, so that'll come back to bite us in Tover. Mo, checking out inventory, doing the mental calculation. We know we've left Earth, but Earth is garbage and we hate it. Um, but. I believe we remember that we left Volcano. Are we doing the garbage play and hope it turns into a rod, or are we doing full clear of the thing hoping for loose? I, I, you have to do Volcano. There's so many chests. You, it's a clearable dungeon. Yep. God, go either go south. South. Or south. Elfland. You know who likes hot dogs? Elves. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, we'll take Volcano. Yeah, th this is, yeah, so many chests, clearable dungeon, no reason not to. Sky Greed chests have five bucks, soft, a wear sword, and an opal gauntlet. Ooh, boy. This will, however, pull her to Sky. Like, almost undoubtedly. Um, so it was the bottle that was in... Was oh, the bottle okay. was in Volcano. Bottle led to the rod. Rod will send us to Earth. Earth will get us okay. the cube. Cube will send us to Sky. Oh, yeah, so this is this is a rude Goldberg machine of sadness. Please, at some point, stop at Elfland Castle. <laughs> Ooh! Stop the presses, no, we got our robot boy! Immediately kicks the tar out of Cecil the Thief Mage. He does not like thieves on his premises. I'm gonna power up the belt cannon. Unleash, 401. Nuke, 368. Warmack still there. Down goes a ninja mage. Out goes another nuke. 160. Thief Mage swings for 110. Belt. I can't call the sprite because I don't remember nom, what anything... Nom, Wait. Nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the war mech is continuing to just consume party members from the bottom up, but the Belt Mage gets there. 261. 42,000. <laughs> 
It was all the people that needed it. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, it, I think this particular war mech uh, consumed uh, people as biofuel. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> You, you look delicious. Get in the incinerator. Yeah. Yep, nope, we're out of magic. We just gotta get there on raw power. And... Ugh. Ugh. That was some incoming poison damage. We got the levels for the MDEF, but we can't take too many of those. That was also a lot of... That was also a lot of power out of a melee attack. We... Yep. So yeah, we're being a little ballsy going for power bonkers. Oh, okay, well... Uh, or Tiamat has like 12 hit points. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so glass cannon in every <laughs> conceivable way. All right, fuck on it. I uh, have to. No, we we gotta. We need ribbons. That can be made into a ribbon. You'd put ribbon in that. You can. Uh... Ooh, yeah. Uh, developers, let's let's get a crafting system into uh, Final <laughs> Fantasy. Silver dagger plus cloth equals ribbon. Ooh, hold up. We found. Dad Vorpal. It's like a katana. Oh. Worse. oh, but there's the ribbon. Feeling a little sad that we didn't do that earlier. I mean... I uh, get it. I yeah. definitely get it. But hindsight, you go, oh, God damn it, that was 30 seconds. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, Valkonic is, is at a point where he's he's pretty well loaded for bear. <laughs> he's going to make a quick stop at the party member store and probably load up on some heal potions while he's at it, and we're going to have our first runner in Topher. Mo has put together one part of the loose item puzzle, uh, but is going to almost certainly full clear Volcano looking for the other half. Now, with luck, we'll stop at uh, Elfland Castle on the way to Earth Cave. There's two routes to get there. Hopefully we take that one. All right, so you ask for a safety save. All right. Uh, what are we stopping at level... What are we stopping at the Provoca Armor Shop for? Is this where the Pro Rings were for sale? Uh, nope. Uh, no. <laughs> I think we're looking for Pro Rings. Uh, I, I can't tell you how many times I've gone, ah, oh, crap, where were they? Or we've given up on Pro Ring. No, we're still looking. Oh, there they were. They were in Canary oh, the whole hi. time. Perfect. So, two ribbons, one on each of the Black Mages. And it looks like we're just gonna let Natural Armor uh, take care of the Belt Wizard. I saw, was it level, yeah, 40-something? Yeah, you're, yeah you're, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, nuke and Lock for a Cecil the Thief Mage. Uh, makes sense. Nuke for whatever, and Lock just in case we hit Evade Cap on multiple things. Still not sure about it. I'll oh, just, just no, continuing. Yeah, rounding out magic. We gotta get uh, fast. Yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this that that is legit. Just because if the black mages go down, you still want to be able to. Yep. Pour All gas onto the black belt. Very sensible. We're heading towards northern continent. Oh, we're looking for temper. Temper is the last piece of a good dive with this party. Because, um, you know, Power Bonk is fine, but it would be better to Power Bonk and Double Temper rather than just, like, Power Bonk. Level 8. Level 8. There it is, yep. That's sad, but it is what it is. 
can't really complain. You were given level one, level one nuke, level whatever ice, fire, yeah. Yeah, something had to roll high. Oh, and the mute bad men given Mo a little bit. At least she got a nuke off before they got their mm -hmm. nuke off. And Falconic's <laughs> going for a last minute grind. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, no, please go away. I'm sorry, you can be the evil incarnate. Just go away. <laughs> Yeah, to say I'm surprised by this, uh, this is something I would expect if we were doing the 500% uh, clamp shenanigans. Mm -hmm. uh, this this level of powering up, yeah. Um, but um, so let, let's let's consider this from Falconic's pers perspective for a moment. We went all over God's green earth before we found the floater, so we have to feel like we're turbo behind. Now, let's combine that with the fact that no one has done Dot Done yet. I think Falconic is betting on something in Topher being a waking nightmare. Either that, or he wants to be able to just put the brick on the controller and walk away to a Dot Done. Right. Alright, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Nope. We didn't do the thing. No! Oh, are we doing this double wrong? We're doing this double wrong. Uh, well, that might lead us to doing it right. Two wrongs might actually, in this case, make a right, because we're going to get the cube down here and be sad because we don't have a chime. <laughs> so we're going to be back on the loose train, and that might take us to Elfland Armory. You used the wrong equation but got the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> um... Meanwhile, on the left side of our screen, Falconic has entered the Temple of Fiends. At 1 hour, 16 minutes, and 45 seconds, immediately runs into bad men with Mute. But we got ribbons on our nuke casters, so it's probably fine. Yeah, at this point, more annoying than anything. <laughs> Mo is skipping chests. Did I... Did we miss a thing? I don't believe she's been to Elfland Armory. Praying whatever... No, no, she has... Th no, she she knows the loose is going to end up being required. At least if she's doing the mental math right. Does she? Because we're leaving a lot of chests on the table. Well, she knows Opal's out of the pool. We know right. Thor's out of the pool. We right. All of the whammies are gone. Right. The Blaze Chimera is kind of chipping away, but with the level 45, you can kind of laugh off most everything. Okay, we did that. We got a cube, but not much else. All we right. saw a bottle in our inventory, but that's just going to put us back on the wrong trail. It's got to be a loose. You can do it. You, we, you can do it, Mo. I believe in you. Yeah, I mean, if, if we got Topher locked, we got the Elfin locked, which is we know that's where he needs to go, and Mars, we have Mars. She doesn't look just going towards Mars, that's good. No, no we're, headed, we're headed west. And we're headed to Bottle Turn-In. Oh boy. And... If you had audio on Mo's side, you need to mute it because there's going to be a compound uh, string of swears. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, if you take a look to the left side of your screen, you see a speed bump that is once again jumped by the raw power of the Belt Wizard. Yeah, there's not much that can stop Falconic now. <laughs> You know what? More experience. Why not? <laughs> Alright, well, we got the rod, and now we're real unhappy about it, so we're probably about to turn around and go back and do Earth. We got the loot, we got the key, we got the rod. We don't have a chime. 
that chime has to be somewhere, that chime is loose. Oh. Oh. We're headed west. Yes, yes, yes. 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 We're there. We're doing it. We got a sun sword, some cash, that, and our last loose item. Oh, jeez. Get the Oh, the suspense. <laughs> uh, Lyra in chat, is there a bottle deposit refund in Gaia? Nah. You can't, because, like, you can't, you can't just throw it in the lake. That's littering, and we frown on that kind of thing around here. Um, so am I the only one that thought in the vanilla game, you take the bottle, you release the fairy, that they put the oxy ale in the bottle and you wore the bottle on your head like a, the old style <laughs> old, uh, diving suit? I thought they put the oxy ale in the bottle, but I didn't think that they would just like, you know, stick the bottle and like duct tape the bottle to their head and just be like, I am ready. Like, I thought it was just some kind of magic thing that just like put air around you. Yeah, in my head they had the old diving bell uh, steel helmet thingies, but anyway. Speaking of getting in over your head, here comes Falconic rounding the corner. Let's take this Kraken 2 fight. We're gonna try, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna attack, attack. We're gonna fast the belt wizard. Nope, we're gonna temper the belt wizard. And then we're gonna fast the belt wizard. Fast goes off. The cannon has been powered. Swing. 7 hits, 265. Paunch. 20 hits for 2,211 <laughs> damage. That calamari done evaporated. 20 hits is good. Someone uh, on the Discord today found out a, a way to kind of uh, circumvent the 500% cap and <laughs> ended up with a 104 hit chaos. <laughs> Are we. Ooh. Falconic's taking a weird path. Are we doing a Mazda check? I think we're doing a Mazda check. We're doing a Mazda check. Why not? Welcome to hubris.jpg. Oh, I would pay any amount of money now for it to be a ribbon and have you have to eat crow. <laughs> it wouldn't. It would never be a ribbon. It would never in a million years be a ribbon. Look, the ribbon can be in so many places in the game. It would never be here. Yes. Yes. <laughs> See, look, we're gonna go into this room, we're gonna open not a ribbon. Here we go. See, 20 bucks. I was really priming that clip. <laughs> Queued up, ready to go. You can't say I didn't try. And Falconic kind of turning the tables, I think the black belt is now the, uh, the, the biomass fed uh, war machine. <laughs> It's consumed so many Gersharks and Big Eyes. <laughs> uh, if you look to the right of your screen... Uh, there was Mo a thing. I don't know. Mo successfully jumped Lich 1, and on the left side, we got Tia 1. We're going to power up the belt cannon. Ooh, we're going to do Cheeky Brack. Doesn't work. Swing with the Thief Knight. Four hits for 252. Incoming damage doesn't do much. Fast goes off. The cannon is powered. Swing. Nine hits for 871. Down goes Tia 2. There had to be a lot of evasion going on there. Yeah, 16 base hits, only nine landing. 20 base hits. That, uh, that oh, 20, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Blue steak! Blue. All praise the mythical blue steak. This run is blessed. This show is blessed. So, so Mo won is, is uh... correct. But let's, but let's humor Falconic for a moment and call his chaos fight, despite losing this race. Uh, we're gonna try some white shirt. How about we're we're gonna fast up the belt cannon defense? We're gonna take this nice and cautious. Let's open with Zap. Doesn't catch any of them. Defense goes off. White shirt goes off. We got that evasion going up. The fast goes off. The temper goes off. Are we going to continue buffing? We're going to try some white shirt. Some more temper. 
some power, and a temper. We're gonna get our belt wizard into low earth orbit. Here we go. And we're gonna have one, two, three, four evasion charges on it, just in case Chaos decides to get a bit rumbly. He does sends it in the wrong direction. The Thief Knight takes a ton of damage. Let's try some more buffs. More buffs. More power. That's Here, stick your knuckles in this forge. <laughs> That's three evasion stacks across the board and five on the Belt Wizard. Lightning 2 comes out. Does Lightning 2 things. The buffs continue. Are we ready to attack? No, we need more power. More. I, I think the plan is dump charges first. We're gonna... I think we're gonna power up this belt cannon until we hit, like, evasion cap. Uh, Chaos Fasts. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're Falconic up. knows. He's here on a buy. He's here for a show. He's not here for a win. We're gonna power up the belt cannon as high as it can go. We're gonna do... We're gonna get all the locks out there to make sure that no evasion is in play whatsoever, and that... And the belt wizard is going to continue to bulk up. Nope, we're gonna swing. Here we go. Paunch. 16 hits for 3,357 damage. Falconic finishes in first place with an official SRL time of 1 hour, 26 minutes even, and an incredibly impressive one rounding of chaos. GG. And joined already by Falconic. How's it going, man? It's going well. I don't know that you can call that a one round chaos, though. It was like a 17 round chaos. Well, look, when... What, by the time you switched to offense, it was just like, burnt done. So... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're here in Randomania, so if, if you need to censor yourself, but what did you say to yourself after avoiding Northwest Castle for so long? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know that I can say the word. So, <laughs> Mo and I were hanging out in voice chat the whole time. Mm -hmm. and uh, And she... She was just kind of doing this, like, ha, 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 ha. like doing that. And I was like, that sounds like airship music. <laughs> so, oh, wait a second, I don't have the airship, and I'm, I'm a pretty good player. <laughs> so then I started looking through my menu, and I was like, okay, well, maybe she made a big brain play somewhere, and she went somewhere and did something. Totally forgot that I had the crown and that Astos hadn't been visited. <laughs> uh, so yeah, hey. there were some words. Yeah, you, you were like, oh, he's he's got Adam and Antian T. Oh, Northwest Castle's a lock. And you start starting to start sailing. You're like, but no, go back. <laughs> uh, it's not too bad. I was able to the places I did get to with the canoe. I was able to knock them out in one go and clear out that southeastern continent. But yeah, flying would have probably shaved off a good ten minutes of this run. Yeah, you found that uh, the the gray shark eye tile sat there for a bit, got all the levels you needed. You got more than you needed know, right before Tover. I commented that you know the the levels you went in are you know 500% clamped levels, not <laughs> 30 <laughs> unclamped. Yeah. Saw the fizzle fight. I had to take it. <laughs> Such a good fight. Uh, she was. Uh, she'll tell you as well. She was doing pretty good. It sounds like because she was flying early uh, with her party, she had exit. She was able to get out of places well before like i had to go into earth and walk it all the way out i had to go into waterfall walk it all the way out mm -hmm. uh, but i think she got tripped up on her loose uh, right yeah she had the same aversion you had the northwest she had to elfland castle mm. it happens it happens so i'm sleeping yeah. on the couch tonight guys <laughs> <laughs> uh congratulations on your prize i think question mark um thanks <laughs> was fun <laughs> so falconic i have a question for you okay pasta um why do you hate us uh please explain <laughs> your sprites uh so uh, i was going for uh, like an 80s electric so the the pink and the baby blue right that's what you're asking about yeah that's totally what i'm asking about so essentially over the course of the run um I, I tried to come up with names for them and see if these strike your fancy. So in the mm -hmm. top, so before promotion, in the top slot, we had um, the thief belt, <laughs> and then in the second slot, we had the belt mage. 
and then the bottom two slots were Thief Mages. Now, right. after promotion is where you threw me for a loop. Um, in the top slot, we had Cecil the Thief Knight, and, <laughs> and then we had the Belt Wizard, and then we had uh, two Ninja Mages. I like it. If I could fit it in, I'd do it. Uh, I was trying to go for the, the triple layers of confusion. Yep. <laughs> Where on the overworld, it was a black wizard sprite, but then mm -hmm. it was a black belt that was a thief. That's good stuff. I actually um, I actually had to have that one pointed out to me because I was still chewing on like what everything was in combat. <laughs> did, did, did the black belt just use a knife? Yeah. <laughs> I think it did. I figured you guys would have... Uh, would have caught on right away when you saw that I equipped the Iron Nunchucks on the Black Mage. I had missed that, but what I saw was a thief casting nuke out of the gate. That that was when I was just like, hold up. Um, <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was good. I was just, I was on the couch like a week ago, and Sarah was talking about trying to get some new sprites here, and mm -hmm. obviously hers look amazing, but... Mm -hmm. I was just like, you know what I don't think I've ever seen? Probably because it'd be banned in a real tournament. Is What if we just swapped around all the characters? So that I, they were the legit characters, but in the wrong spots. I would definitely uh, request that you not do that uh, in an official <laughs> tournament. Think of the poor race crew. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, for tonight only. That's why I hit it behind the curtain. Uh-huh. I, I do like the idea of the, that kind of shuffle as a mechanic within the randomizer, though. Like, you don't know what you got. Figure it out. I would I would love it. I don't know if it would. <laughs> I would hope that when you go into the menu, it would also match what the sprite was and not what it actually was, just to add that extra layer of confusion. But yeah, mm -hmm. that'd be really, really fun. Mm -hmm. So Mo is rounding the corner on the fire floor, headed towards Carry 2, the first real boss of Topher. Yeah, we didn't really see much in the way of actual bosses because they just, you know, kind of got squirted. So yeah. <laughs> you you were getting excellent uh, turn order on casting fast and then just, like, detonating them. <laughs> I had places to be. That Mazacek wasn't going to make itself. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, you walked just right by it. Uh, first floor sea shrine. <laughs> On the crack inside, we were. We, it was a coin flip in our head if you were going to check there or not. Because yep. you were. You seemed to be digging. I'm assuming it was for that second ribbon. Yep, it was for a second ribbon. I wanted yep. the mages to be protected in Topher. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. All right, here we go. We're starting with the white shirt. How about some power gauntlet? Incoming punch doesn't really do much. We carry two today. Outgoing nuke for 190. Outgoing nuke for 280. Round two. How about some nuke? Cheeky Zeus Gauntlet play and a black shirt. We're anticipating that this carry two is almost dead. Zeus Gauntlet goes off. 17 damage. Swing with the Maza. 5 hits 293. Still there. Black shirt goes off. 27 damage. Incoming Lightning 2. Uh, does actually pretty big damage against all the mages, but not the knight. White shirt goes off. We're into round 3. Let's try Swing. 3 hits 3 damage. How about with a Maza? 5 hits for 440. Carry 2 is still oh. there. 4 hits 4 damage. We're going to get another round out of this. Carry is very, very tall. Not a lot of armor going on, but just tons and tons of hit points. Swing with the Mazza. 5 hits, 432. Down goes Carry 2. Yeah, that's always scary, you know, that, all right, she rolled the script, and she's just not dying. Yeah, it's just like, I can conserve resources on this, so I can use them for the for the real fiends, like Kraken 2. Why is Carry 2 still here? Well, we'll try again. Why is Carry 2 still here? Why am I being nuked? Uh, these are thoughts I've had at some point. This is going to sound really, really strange, but I'm surprised to see her level so low at 32. <laughs> yeah. Not everyone can... Uh, well, part of that is um, you had a war mech fight, and she didn't. Yeah, that got dicey for a second there. Yeah, he was... Uh... Warmech had strategy. Warmech was consuming your party from the, from the ground up. <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it, it got the right people to get the experience onto the melee. So, I mean, I guess that was a bit of a silver line. I think it was 42,000 experience. Yeah, I'm not mad. It was nice. Which, again, is why we were both confused. Like, is he going back to Earth Cave? Why is he going there? Oh. <laughs> I want my eight hits. <laughs> 
All right, here we go. Pulling up to Kraken 2. We know for a fact that Kraken 2 has somewhere less than 2,300 health. <laughs> somewhere between 0 and 2,300 is Kraken 2's actual health total. Was it Kraken or, or uh, Tia 2 that was the dodgy boy? That was Tia 2. Yeah, it was, okay, that was Tia. Yeah, we saw a fa uh, the fasted black belt hit for only nine. I mean, it was still enough to absolutely destroy it, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we doing? We're going to try some nuke. We're going to fast up the knight. The knight is going to power up. And we're going to do a white shirt for some basic evasion. Fast goes off. White shirt goes off. That will be helpful if Kraken swings in. Power goes off. Nuke goes out. 220 damage. Not bad. Quad X happens. Doesn't do anything. Let's try round two. How about some nuke? Maybe some nuke. Uh, some swing and a Thor hammer. We think this Kraken might not be that big. Nuke for 121. Incoming nuke. Big damage to everyone except the bottom white mage. But swing, 10 hits for 1100 damage. Down goes Kraken 2. <laughs> Time to fire hose some heal pots. About halfway through the fight, I just heard her scream from the other room. Did you see that damage? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, this is... For, for those of us with anxiety, the exit in the heal 3 is really big. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, no, we're we're very vulnerable to the exit boss right now. That's not something you can ribbon out of. Alright, here we go. Stomping straight into Tia 2. Here we go. Let's try some nuke. Followed up with some nuke. We're gonna try some defensive strats. White shirt going out. One evasion stack across the party. Defense. Three on the night. Outgoing nuke. For 394, incoming nuclear, big damage. On the knight and the rip and the top red wizard, outgoing nuke for 100. Wham, wham. Let's try next round. How about we're gonna survey our spells? How about some fast? Followed up with some heal three, just in case there's something else that's dicey. We're gonna start swinging with that knight. Throw in a white shirt. Fast goes off. Swing with the Maza. Five hits, 346. Down goes Tia two. So the 2000 that Falconic did was a little bit overkill. <laughs> oh, mm. <laughs> All right. Let me do Let me just lean forward and firmly grip both armrests of my computer chair real quick. I need a Xanax. This is not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to get a victory lap? Well, yeah, we're going to get a victory lap. Here we go. <laughs> and now let's start jiggling party members around. Here we go. I love that Ayla sprite, or Ayla sprite she's got. It's pretty really good. How are we taking this fight? We're going to fast the night. We're going to nuke. <laughs> How about some white shirt? Maybe some defense. Defense, two stacks on the knight. Fast, power up the knight. Outgoing nuke. For 358, that's good damage. White shirt. We've Incoming zap. Down goes a red mage. Down goes the knight. We're gonna need a non-melee based plan. How about, uh -oh. how about fade and nuke? Let's try fade. For 89, eesh. how about nuke? For 175, that's not the numbers we're looking for. Lightning 2 does actually kind of surprising damage. We're leaning on offense. Fade goes out for 85. Chaos fasts. This will oh, be bad. Not good either. This will be bad if he remembers the swing. Nuke for 127. Next round. How about? Yep, we got a white shirt up. Incoming fire three does surprisingly little damage. White shirt goes off. Outgoing nuke. For 105, we need bigger numbers than this. Let's try nuke. We're gonna start healing. How about some cure four? Nuke goes out. For 188, oh. down oh. goes chaos. Moist Mogwai finishes in second place with an official SRL time of 1 hour, 39 minutes, and 20 seconds. GG to Mo. Uh, I, I, I think Mo knew that we were all anxious from the exit boss and just had to, you know, ratchet it up a little bit for the end there. <laughs> <laughs> he 
here's that inside information as well. The second she pulled chaos on my screen, I heard from the other room, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but we are joined in the booth by Moist Mogwai. How you doing, Mo? Oh no. <laughs> That fighter I spent all game making tough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess my first question is, what do you have against elves that made you stay away from uh, from the north one or the uh, the castle lock chest for so long? Apparently, that hole in my brain that forgot that that was the only key lock I didn't check. <laughs> That made me full clear two, three other places because of that. I had them on the ropes. This game was mine. <laughs> you actually had a pretty commanding lead. Um, you were in the air at around the 20, what, 21, 22 minute mark? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Falconic brain hold the crown. You brain hold the, uh, the lock chest. So I kind of offset each other. A little bit, yeah. We were, I think, 50 minutes in, and I'm sure he's told you we were in Discord just going like, oof, or uh, telling jokes the whole time. <laughs> and I heard him say something, and I was like, he's still canoeing at 50 minutes in. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not my proudest moment. I was just like, I think you forgot or forgot. And he was like, what does that mean? And I was like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we we were sending uh, Juju Falconic's way. He went to check the uh, the TNT and Adam. Like he's clearly, he's clearly going to go to Northwest Castle next. Nah, no, 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 <laughs> no. no <okay. laughs> so we don't like castles in this family. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so with both of you in here now, um, we're going to review for those that joined a little bit later. Um, tonight's parties were a draft style situation where instead of both players deciding both like their entire party like we're taking a thief we're taking a red mage etc they essentially claimed a class that they could use so to review uh falconic ended up with the thief the black belt and the black mage Mo ended up with the fighter the red mage and the white mage um falconic you want to take us through uh the strategy on your picks uh yeah so like you were just saying, the, the draft is usually the two of you decide together what your joint parties are going to be, but this one we just decided, what if we make it like a like a kickball contest? Like, I get to we, I think we rolled a d20 and I, I won, so I got to pick first, and I I, I just picked Black Mage because it's, it's my class, and then she followed up with White Mage, so then I was like, okay, she's going to try to lock me out of heels and stuff, but, uh, you know, that Black Mage cast fast, and who better to cast fast on than a Black Belt? And then she took the red mage, which really screwed me out of white magic. And then I was like, you know what? Anyone else, I would take the fighter next and hope that, you know, life two or cure four is uh, class or learnable after class change. But I went ahead and picked the thief, which left her the fighter. But I think it's a, it adds a twist to the draft mode. And, and hopefully more people will, will do that with me going forward in the spring tournament because I think it's fun. Yeah, it definitely looks interesting. I'd certainly try it out. Um, yeah, it's very fun to try and lock people out of magic which I actually took the red mage first white mage second because mm -hmm. I knew he was trying to lock me into black magic so <laughs> then I was like well I gotta capitalize on the white magic <laughs> that's fun we're calling it the foul mode draft super foul nice mode. super foul mode ball feel free to use it going forward if you guys want <laughs> <laughs> uh demon you got any other questions I think I have most of my questions. All right, then I guess we'll uh, we'll move on to final thoughts. Uh, Mo, final thoughts. Don't do the dumb and skip one key locked place that's super easy to get to in a nice town of elves. Um, but I had a lot of fun. A wonderful tonight. town of elves. <laughs> a wonderful town. They're just just gracious people. <laughs> Lovely people. Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely a huge top notch stay. Hotel was nice. Bed and breakfast in the morning. <laughs> Complimentary, by the way. Um, <laughs> no, I, I had a lot of fun tonight. I thought I had him. That was going to be uh, super neat. But I'm not mad at the time that I finished in for somebody who has not played a game in, I don't know, eight, nine months. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh falconic final thoughts yeah it was a fun seed uh it was a little bit disappointing to find out that i got the buy 
for the week, uh, which meant I could just kind of coast on through and get the free win. But uh, Mo was uh, generous enough to say that she'd race me so that we could at least put on some content. And mm-hmm. she got to show off her sprites. I got to show off my silly idea. Uh, so appreciate her doing that. Uh, I'll take one on the couch. It's fine. I think we've been trying to get this couch bowl <laughs> going for three years now. And for <laughs> one reason or another, we just never could. We played each other in the co-op tournament. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, I had to knock her out, but, uh, this is our first one V one. So I'm glad it was, uh, with, with you and demon and, uh, and Danny on board. Yeah. Uh, good group of friends to, to knock this out. So happy to have the win. Uh, and I appreciate you guys being here in random mania. All right. Uh, demon frog, final thoughts. Yeah, it was fun. It was, it was glad to see, uh, Falconic, you know, willing to step up, even though he could have just, you know, Done nothing, still got a win, put the effort in, uh, had some fun, kind of had a little bit of a silly race, and uh, it was a good time. All right, well, I'd like to thank Randomania for hosting us. I'd like to thank Makocom's Demon and Tracker Extraordinaire, Danny3883. Um, stick around, we've got 4,000 more spring tournament races to go. Um, and hopefully, I would love to do another one of these bi week showcases uh, with whoever gets to buy next week. So, For everyone in the Final Fantasy Randomizer community, my name is Lucid Football, and we will see you next time. (laughs) Thanks, guys.